everyone, in today's video I'm really excited to share with you this 100% plant based recipe which is, it kind of resembles sweet and sour chicken but it's actually made with cauliflower. So without further ado, let's get into the video guys. Super delicious yet nutritious, good for you, good for the animals, good for the planet. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is just taking my cauliflower like so and I'm just going to cut it into chunks. I'm just taking an onion and I'm going to chop it up like so. And this is for the sauce that we're going to be creating. And the sauce is going to be like a sticky sweet sauce, which kind of resembles sweet and sour sauce. But this one is going to be sugar free. Onions are such a superfood, guys. Loaded with antioxidants and they can boost your immune system. So eat your onions, guys. And also they can help if you suffer from allergies as well as they're like a natural antihistamine which I say in a lot of my videos. You guys are probably sick of hearing it if you watch a lot of my videos. <laughs> Just doing the red onion, the red onion, I mean red peppers. And also I chopped up some spring onions for the sauce as well. I love spring onions, guys. Onions are a really good source of calcium. Also chopping up some green pepper as well. These are a really good source of antioxidants and also vitamin C as well. This is my cauliflower all chopped and ready to go. Just taking some ginger. Ginger is amazing guys. It detoxes your whole body. Particularly good if you suffer from stomach problems or nausea or digestion problems. It's really good for that. Love, love, love ginger. It's literally, it's such a good remedy if you suffer from colds or flus or anything. I swear by it. And I add it into like all my recipes. So I'm just grating some up. And then I'm going to be taking spelt flour, which is an ancient grain. Spelt flour is so much easier for the body to digest as it's water soluble. And it's loaded with literally so many vitamins and minerals such as calcium. It can boost your body's immune system. It can lower your blood sugar levels. And I'm just adding in some sea salt a bit water as well basically creating like a batter for our cauliflower just adding in a little bit more water to like make it less thick <laughs> obviously you can add in a little bit more flour like I'm doing to make it thicker or add more water if you want it thinner Simple guys. <laughs> so once you're happy with the consistency, it's good to go your batter. Once you've got all the lumps out of it. So this part is optional. I'm just taking some of my bread and I'm trying to like grate it to like create breadcrumbs as I didn't have any on hand, but this part is totally optional. You do not have to be this extra. It's entirely up to you if you want to do this part or not. So I'm just taking some greaseproof paper and I took some grapeseed oil, which is high in vitamin E and omega-6. And I just basically spread it around my greaseproof paper. And then we're going to dunk each of our cauliflower inside our little batter and then I'm gonna put some breadcrumbs on it and I only put breadcrumbs on some as it's like I said that part's optional honest the ones with breadcrumb I don't think it had that much difference in the outcome I would say they were like a little bit more crunchier <laughs> done that they're ready to go into the oven beautiful <music> taking some rice very simple very easy I'm using my green pan which is toxin free 
and I'm just gonna add in a few cups of rice and remember guys when you're cooking rice so simple and easy it's one of those small cups for two cups of water of rice so that's how it goes and I just added in some oil and I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of sea salt to flavor the rice and also guys, you could pair this up with noodles if you like. So I would say like, roughly to the, blah, 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 roughly leave these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes because we want them to become crunchy. So I'm just creating my sauce now. I'm taking a green pan and I'm also taking grapeseed oil, which I always use and it's high in vitamin E and omega-6, like I said earlier. I'm just going to saute all of our ingredients, I've added in ginger first and now I'm adding in the peppers, onions and so on. And also guys, a top tip whilst cooking is really saute your ingredients for that extra bit longer. It really helps your sauces to become so much more flavoursome. <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to be taking some organic cayenne pepper and I'm going to be taking some organic ginger powder and some coriander. And I'm just going to add in about a teaspoon of each. And this is what gives us a sticky sauce. Basically, I'm taking dark organic agave, which is derived from a Mexican plant. Depending on how sweet you want it to be, you can add in more or less agave. Adding in some sea salt. I'm sorry guys, it's a little bit steamy. Apologies. Taking some organic passata. I didn't add in too much so it's not too tomatoey but I just wanted to finish it so I added in a little bit of water in the bottom and then shook it about to really empty the contents but I didn't have too much inside the bowl. I'm also going to be adding in soy sauce. I have a gluten free one but guys if you want to keep this super healthy I suggest skipping this part out. But it does add in so much flavour, but my humble opinion is completely not healthy. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm adding in some agave. And I added about 3 teaspoons. You can add more or less, depending on how sweet your tooth is. I wanted to make it a little bit extra sweet because I'm cooking it for two little ones. And I really wanted to encourage them to eat it. This is all beautiful and fluffy. Adding in the cauliflower. Delicious, 100% plant based, good for you, good for the animals, good for the planet. It's a win win, guys. I really hope you do try to recreate this. And if you do, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I love, love, love hearing from you guys. <laughs> It's time to put it up for the two minions and do the taste test. Do you think they're going to approve this or not? These kids are literally the hardest critics. Super delicious. It's literally making me hungry whilst I edit. 
Time for the taste test. Moment of truth. The top five stories you might have missed for Labor Day. How does it taste, Ty? Gelatine. Gelatine? How does it taste? Oops, you're dropping. Okay, then try. It's really delicious. And bite into the thing. Tastes just like chicken. Well, it's not chicken. Sorry, yeah. It's not chicken. <coughs> What's wrong, Key? Spicy! Spicy? Okay, here's water. Sorry. You said it was going to be sweet. It's not even sweet. Does it not taste sweet to you? It tastes sweet to me. How would you rate it, guys? How would you rate it, Kay? What did you say, Kay? A hundred out of a hundred. Oh, you're too sweet. What would you rate it? Oh wait, in your own time, when you're ready. And that banner story. <coughs> because I'm Pardon? eating this. Um, more water sounds, please. What would you rate it? Nine, to, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Thank you. Is that, you're is that the best you can come up with? Okay, don't touch. There's tissue here. Is that the best you can come up with? Thank you guys so, so much for watching. It literally means the whole world to me. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. And I'm also going to sprinkle my one with some sesame seeds. I would not even dare do that to Tyrese and Caden's one because they all have a fit. <laughs> Picky kids, boy. It's not easy. But anywho, I will see you guys in my next upload. Peace and love until next time, guys. I love you.